I'd like to hear from the member for North Sydney. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Assistant Treasurer. Six and a half weeks ago, you announced that the government was committed to legislating a total ban on the use of predictive genetic tests when Australians are attempting to access life insurance products. Despite this promise, genetic discrimination legislation has not been introduced. Assistant Treasurer, when will the genetic discrimination legislation be introduced and what is causing the delay? Call to the Assistant Treasurer and the Minister for Financial Services. Can I thank the member for North Sydney for her question and acknowledge her genuine and long-standing interest in this issue, particularly before coming into parliament, her role as the CEO of the McGrath Foundation, um, and acknowledge your deep interest in ensuring we can put in place uh, preventative measures to ensure uh, that uh, people with a predisposition to, to cancers and other preventable diseases have access to the best preventative uh, uh, medicines and procedures. The government is committed to introducing legislation into parliament to remove the existing provisions which would allow life insurers to lawfully discriminate against people who have had access to genetic testing um, and require them to provide that genetic testing uh, material as a condition of taking out life insurance. It's an important issue. We want to ensure that people. We want to encourage Australians to have access uh, to genetic testing. And can I take the opportunity to congratulate uh, the Minister for Health uh, for his uh, great work in this area? The government has invested uh, close to a billion dollars um, into research in this area. We want to ensure that Australians have access to all the genetic testing advantages that would enable them to take control of those predispositions in their life. I also want to pay credit, uh, while I'm at it, to great work of many members in this House for advocating on this issue. Um, uh, the people behind me, the member for McNamara, the member for Boothby, the member for uh, MacArthur and so many others. I see on the crossbench the member for Indi, the member for Kuyong, who have um, uh, taken uh, very uh, strong, made very strong representations on this issue. And of course, while I'm at it, I want to. Um, play a uh, great tribute to the work of Dr Jane Tiller from Monash University. There wouldn't be a member in this place who hasn't had representations uh, from uh, Dr Jane Tiller. Uh, we are, as I said, uh, committed to introducing legislation into the parliament in this term. Uh, there's only a day left in uh, this year. It won't happen this year. But I can uh, confirm to the member for North Sydney that work is underway on this issue. I have also had uh, productive discussions uh, with the Council of Australian Life Insurers, who have committed to ensuring that prior to legislation coming before this House that they will voluntarily uh, introduce a ban to ensure that this material is not used in the way that we are all concerned about. It is important um, that all Australians have access to these preventative uh, tests and are able to take uh, control uh, of their own health circumstances. Uh, we want to ensure um, that we ex expand the research into genomic testing, uh, and we're doing that. We want to ensure that the barriers to people accessing those are removed. Time uh, the removal of the existing provision in the disability. Minister's, minister's time. Minister's, the minister's time has been. Order. Order.